Today I have yet another Ericsson dialogue to show you all. This time it's made in the country of Mexico. Back in the day they did have a division of Ericsson which provided most of their telecommunication equipment. Um, it was through Telefonos de Mexico and this one's kind of unique because of the particular shade of green it's made in. It's a much richer darker green compared to my Ericsson dialogue from the country of Ecuador and um, there's a, some slight differences to this telephone uh, compared to other Ericsson dialogues from other countries including Sweden it is if you look here in Ericsson it's in a box in a rectangular shaped box um, I haven't really seen any of those with uh, that type of marking like that. This one is missing the number card holder, so I'm gonna have to figure out if to leave it like that or to add something else. Um, the cord is interestingly short on this telephone. I don't know if that's, I'm pretty sure that's the way it used to be, or it could have been shortened or there was a problem with it. But we'll figure that out. Also the line cord definitely was something added later. It's a really really short plug or short cord and they kept the restraint and just put it right through there. It, this phone's a mess. I don't know if it was in the mud or something or in storage but it is an absolute mess. But everything's intact, which is good. It just needs a good cleaning. Plastic is very, very dull. There's some discoloration in some spots. And there are some scratches, of course. But it's finally nice to have a telephone from Mexico. But uh, no cracks, which is good. I do not know what year this phone is from. I haven't even looked on the inside, but I will be doing that shortly. So, um, let me show you a little bit of the markings. You've got your usual L. Americson. Let me do it closer. There we go. L. Americson. Fix that. There we go. In the bottom. It's really corroded, so you can't really tell what it says. I don't know if it's corroded or it's or if it's dirt that I can easily get off. But um, you can sort of make make out what it says. We've got the usual L. M. Erickson on the bottom here, and it does say Mexico on the bottom. You have to really look closely. There's also some wording here. Um, if I can make it out, I can't. But it says um, I know right next to my finger here says Telefonos Mexico and we got some other stuff with regulation called regula regulacion and we got some other things around here ringer adjuster maximum minimum sorry I don't think it says anything on the top here what I'll have to do is I will have to look on the inside and also clean that metal. I might have to uh, resort to the white vinegar treatment on the metal to get some of that corrosion if that is off. So in um, the dial, the dial needs to be oiled. It's spinning fine but it's, it, obviously the oil has dried out in there and it needs some work. but. All in all, it's in really good shape. It's just a mess. So we'll have to see if everything's intact on the inside. They should be. Everything should be in there. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this really, really short video. I don't really have much to say about it um, as I've looked at it quickly before I did the video. So I hope you enjoyed this and pictures coming up. Thanks for watching.